So I just wanted to document uh, how I elected to set up a CB radio on my Ram 1500. I always dreamed of it as a kid. Finally uh, decided to take some time with uh, the truck of, that I've always wanted as well. So either way, went to uh, Right Channel Radios, bought a custom mount. Uh, this thing cost me roughly about 30 bucks for uh, it's a piece of stainless steel. It goes about uh, one in, uh, what is that, seven eighths that way. Uh, another roughly one and seven eighths and then another seven eighths there and then out by about uh, two and a quarter and it's about two inches wide so if you want to make your own mount there you go there's your there's your mount but basically it's a right channel radio mount 30 bucks ten dollars get it shipped here 18 feet uh, cable I got a low profile stud and mount uh, everything's grounded through this um, pin here so if there's a way to do this better let me know too by the way went ahead and I put some soft Velcro on the top and bottom just in this channel here so that way nothing was going to rub and grind and then I also went ahead and put in um, some uh, 3M tape. You see it's already starting to kind of just rub against that tape which I prefer. That's just shininess. It's not any injury here. But I got 3M tape right here on both both uh, the top and bottom for rubbing. And then I basically just run it down and through my boot right there. Nice tiny little hole. Works out. And then I got my inexpensive little CB. So there's probably better ways to, to do these CBs in general, but I wanted something that was fairly small. And then I have this little lip right here, a little panel, and all I did was I took the normal mount, as you can see, and just put two little aluminum feet on it. And these just kind of sit down and in. And then everything's powered right here through connection and then CB. So that's it. I'm pretty stoked about it. It's working well for me, and uh, maybe that'll give you some ideas.